singing rods. I hope you have in your school some bits of aluminium um, which you stroke to make noises. I'll be doing that in a second. But, but you know, that's a bit namby-pamby. Go for a two-meter length, okay? Um, and uh, there are several things you can do with this. Um, one of the things is if I hold it there and bash it in the middle and then do that, uh, I can demonstrate transverse standing waves, okay? Nice nodes where my fingers are, okay? Antinode in the middle to antinodes at the end, okay? Um, you do need to know where the nodes are to make this work effectively, <clears throat> but you can find out, measure, and put your fingers there. So a nice way of demonstrating um, um, transverse standing waves, okay, first of all. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here is to make noises, and for that I need some rosin, and I'll just rosin myself up a bit, okay, and then <clears throat> hold the rod open in the right place. No, actually, no, I want to hold it there in the middle, first of all. And then begin to stroke it, and all being well, I very quickly begin to generate a slightly annoying noise. Uh, these, are now, these are now longitudinal standing waves. I'm holding it in the middle, so there is a, a node in the middle, but there are anti-nodes at both ends, okay? You remember roughly what the frequency sounded like. Um, there, if I, I hold the rod in a slightly different position and try the same thing, Notice that I can produce a note of much higher frequency um, because I'm, I'm on to the next standing wave now. Node there, probably an antinode in the middle, a node there, okay? It's different wavelength and higher frequency. And if, in fact, you can go on and try and excite more and more if you wish. <laughs>